Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Start From Scratch run here on Elm Creek. And, uh, just finishing up, gathering up the straw here. As you can see, we're also seeding down some grass. We can do grass for a couple months before we have to reseed the barley. Uh, so we might as well take advantage of that. Uh, we will make this grass so we can go right into silage with it. Well, I do think we have quite a decent amount of silage still, don't we? Uh, where is it? It's at the bottom. Uh, 200,000. Not bad. Mm, definitely, you know, fill it up again. Should be fine. Alright, so we ended up with, what was it, fifty or 26 times 3, I believe, which is 78,000 plus this, 80, 88,000, 90,000, just right at 90,000 liters of straw. Yeah, okay. We'll see, we'll see if we can do the math here in a minute to see if, uh, we think a 90,000 liters of straw will survive a full cycle. All right, so let's see. This is June. Uh, July will be... Well, we won't have to fertilize this because we're actually fertilizing this as we plant it, so that's good. And then... I guess August we mow. And then September we harvest um, sugar beets. Is that right? Did I say that earlier? October harvest sugar beets. So uh, by the time we mow the second time on the grass and start planting the barley. That'll be the same time that we have to harvest the sugar beets. Uh, okay, so how are we doing on other things? I mean, you know, nice tractor. Um, did I already do the cows? I did, didn't I? Like this is still the same cycle. Yeah, yeah. I just haven't done the TMR because I was waiting because I still had straw in there, more straw than I want to turn into TMR. So we got 21. 735 or sorry 375 just so I can kind of get a good count of how much straw these guys use in the next cycle all right I'm gonna put a quick skip in here while this guy's finishing up the grass field and then we will uh, go from there all right well except for the fact that I'm running to the woods we are done with this this field that's what happens when I'm trying to drive and hit the unpause button at the same time uh, done putting the grass down so let's get this guy parked and then we can fast forward um, yeah feeling pretty good about things I think this farm is coming along quite nicely I mean it's been slow don't get me wrong it took us a lot of episodes to get to this point but I think we are overall in a pretty good spot I'm pretty happy about the fact that we're making cakes finally no idea how long it's going to take us to get out of debt uh, with, you know, the cakes and the bread and uh, I guess the eggs at this point. Um, we will probably get some a few other things that we can sell along the way at some point. Uh, like I'm, Eventually, we're going to have too many strawberries, right? In fact, we probably already do have close to too many strawberries. Uh, we're getting there. So we'll be selling some of those at some point as well. But let's go ahead and get fast forwarded. And uh, let's see, July, nothing to do except... Well, take care of the cows, uh, potentially empty the eggs, and then move on to July, uh, August and get ready to mow. Like I said, we're going to be doing grass so we can do, go ahead and do the wind rowing straight off the go. Uh, so how much straw did you guys use? Oh, you almost used all your total expression. Uh, you only used, if my math is correct, 
4,000, 3,000, like 3,400 maybe liters of straw, like hardly any. Uh, so yeah, over the course of an entire year, we have more than enough straw for this and the food. We're definitely gonna be filling up on straw at some point. So uh, let's get into the little tractor. Let's go ahead and get the cows fed up. We'll go ahead and drop off the rest of the straw uh, that we can. Oh, sorry, tractor. Um, but we will not, we won't be able to dump it all. So some of it will have to go into TMR. It's fine. Now that I know how much more straw we are uh, having than TMR, or than, than straw that we need, uh, we can actually be a bit more aggressive on the straw ratio for our TMR. Probably something like maybe 7,000 hay, 5,000 straw, and the rest silage. Something like that. Actually, no, I'd rather have the silage be the ones the most. Maybe we try 5,000, 5,000 in the rest silage. Uh, yeah, that might work because there is a gap between where the, this, the hay and the straw can be at the same percentage. Uh, now, obviously, we, oh, I forgot to dump this. I'm sitting here talking, blabbing on and forgot to actually dump as much as I can. So <laughs> that's kind of important. Now, this first batch here will be a bit more than that. I think it will still be okay. We'll probably still get around to that 10,000 mark uh with the hay and then whatever's left is silage all right should be pretty good We were to do like 6,000 liters of straw with each batch, and we do a batch about every other month. That is 60,000, right? 60, 72,000 liters total. Um, plus the uh, 3,000 times 36. That would be too much. We can't go that high. If we're getting about 36,000 liters of straw usage, a little bit more than that. Let's, take, let's call it 40. Just I think that'll just about cover it. 40,000 liters for the year. And we made, we got about 90,000 liters. So we got 50,000 liters to play with, which over the course of 12 months is what? Maybe 4,000 liters each to be safe. I mean, this first one batch, I think, like I said, oh no, we, what am I saying? We can dump some of this out, can't we? I bet maybe we can, we'll try it. Mm. There we go. All right, we're gonna call it 4,000. We'll see if 4,000 ends up being a good number for us in the long run. And then we'll go, I guess, I guess 6,000 hay. Uh, I guess they get around to that 10,000 10, mark. Does this thing take, I hadn't even thought about it. This thing takes forge, doesn't it? Uh, what am I looking for? So, no, it doesn't. Why did it let me drop it off? I wonder what it would count as. All right, that's a pretty decent ratio. I mean, the reason I'm going this route is because we're gonna we're gonna get basically the same amount of straw every year. No matter what, because we've got the uh, we've got the barley like that. That's that's something we're going to be doing every year. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out maybe if there's a way for us to skip a round of grass here and there if we get enough or something like that. Do something else there in that round. All right, I'm going to call that good enough. I will definitely fill it up again next month, though. Um, milk's okay. Slurry's getting a little bit high, but nothing we can do about that. Eggs are actually going to be okay for one more month. Um, strawberries, how are they looking? A little bit low in the water. We'll definitely fill it up probably next month. Um, they're getting a little bit full as well, so we definitely want to turn on selling them soon. Uh, barley, we can turn that off for now. Uh, 
we've still got quite a bit of milk. In fact, we haven't really used any milk, have we? Hardly, hardly any of that is. Uh, are we still distributing the butter? We're still distributing the butter. And we're actually... Wait a minute. Oh, I haven't turned it on. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm like, what is going on? I missed something. In fact, I'm going to actually go ahead and leave these on. They don't cause that much when we're when there's no crops or nothing there. Um, so I'd rather just leave them on than, instead of keep forgetting them, you know? All right, so that'll give us some more butter. It's fine because we would have run out of sugar anyway by now. Um, yeah, that's fine. It's not a big deal. And I guess the milk, what we can do is we can just go ahead and drop that off as much of it as we want into, or as much as we can into the bakery real quick. We'll be getting some sugar soon-ish. Just a couple more months away, and then we'll have all the sugar we need for a very long time. Helps if we actually pick up the milk. Do we need to empty the bakery? I doubt we. I don't think we will. But let's double check. Now nah, we're good for a little bit longer. All right, I'm gonna leave this truck here because we might be able to pop up a little bit more in there next month. Um, I think we're good to fast forward though. So let's go ahead and fast forward, get ready to feed the cows again. We got to feed the chickens probably for sure. Empty out the eggs. We'll top off the milk a little bit more. Um, get mowing. Mowing is probably the first thing. I was trying to go through the full list so I can remember kind of get my my game plan down for what we wanted to start with. All right, so mowing first. Decent amount of property income that, that go around. We almost got 5k. Not bad. We will be renting the most, well, not the most expensive, but one of the nice um, uh, sugar beet harvesters. We're not going to be messing with the tractor craziness. We're only going to be doing it basically once, so I don't want to have to, don't want to have to mess with that, that stuff too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, so getting some grass. You're going to drop off the rest of, or some of the milk. That's about as much you can drop off. That's fine. You're now going to go ahead and drop the trailer off real quick. We will then grab the green tractor. Go ahead and get the cows fed up. Uh, see if they need any straw. Oh, excuse me. Cow, sorry. Go ahead and park you there. Uh, we'll need the semi here in a second, but let's get the cows first. Probably will um, put some water in the uh, greenhouses as well. Uh, how are we doing on? Straw, we've got plenty of straw. All right, so 4,000 straw. Good enough. Uh, up to 10,000 hay. Uh, we'll do a little bit more. There we go.
All right, that's good. Let's grab you. Go get the water trailer real quick. We'll get the strawberries filled up. Then all we have left is feed the chickens, empty the eggs, I believe. Actually got some water already. Alright, so strawberries, you're okay. Probably about one one trailer load for each, looks like roundabouts that. Looks like we might actually need two for that other one. All right, uh, you're good. You're almost done. You're done with that. Again, November is egg selling. October would have been butter selling if we were to do that. August would have been sugar selling if we were going to do that. So I've got them marked down, but we're not likely to be doing any of those unless we just get way over. Uh, sugar probably is the least likely just because um, I just don't want to have to do sugar beets again, quite frankly. So I'm hoping they last for quite a while. Uh, butter we might sell if we start getting like a lot of it. All right, let's get you driven back. And honestly, I'm probably going to have this be the last water that I carry this uh, today because we're going to have plenty of time to carry water while we're doing sugar beets, I think. So I'll go ahead and drop this off, make sure we can last a few more months. 
And then we will probably fast forward at that point. I'm going to try. I've tried it once before um, in, a, uh, in a different circumstance, I believe it was, to not roll the grass. And for some reason, it did not grow for me. But I never roll the grass on my multiplayer run anymore. I stopped doing that and we get grass regularly. No issues whatsoever. So I'm not sure, again, I, I think I've talked about this before. I'm not sure if it's a multiplayer thing or if it's just I, I did my initial test on my single player attempt uh, wrong or missed something. Um, so we're going to not roll the grass and see what happens. Worst case, we just don't get any grass and we have to go ahead and plant the barley anyway, which is fine. That would not be the end of the world. Um, because we do have a good, we got, we got enough grass for now. Um, you're going to go ahead and I guess just get off to the side. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you around. Run this line again, because, uh, if we run it with a little bit extra, I, I don't care about the stuff on the sides, but since this line's already kind of off to the side, I'll run this line one more time. Get a little bit of that stuff off, off there stacked up with this you know tiny bit more grass why not takes takes just a few seconds to run it real quick all right so we'll call that let um, me just make sure you're not in the train area. Or I can just get stuck. That right, should be should be fine there. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess pick up a little bit more of this. And we'll turn you off. We'll pick up some more next month. And I believe that's it. So let's go. Come on, grass experiment. Don't let me down. All right, so first things first, uh, strawberry's still good. Again, we probably want to start selling some very, very soon. Uh, how much do we have here? Oh, we got the full 7,000, so as expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tell this, turn this on to selling. Um, we'll just sell this batch and then we'll turn it back to distribute again after that. Um, get us a little bit of money for now. Uh, other than that, bread and cakes are not full. They're just waiting on sugar. We'll be having some of that shortly. Butter is, well, it's distributing when it's filling up, so that's good. Uh, cows are, uh, we can top off the TMR and probably give them a little straw, but before we get too far down the rabbit hole, um, so no grass, it is just a multiplayer thing. Wow. Why is that? Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I still, I think maybe I'm, nope, nope, we're good. It is growing. Okay. So yeah, so you don't have to roll. I don't know what my test is that, it, that, uh, didn't let it grow that one time because it was definitely time but i think it might have been around the january february like during the winter months and so i think it might have been like a a bad test i think i just i might have just tested it wrong so yeah no definitely do not have to roll the grass just like we don't have to roll the rest of the fields and since there's no real valuable gains from rolling the grass i don't see any reason why we should um what we should do though is probably go ahead and do the nitrogen that i could see an argument for being worth the uh, few passes, what, three or four passes that we have to make.
All right. Let's get this dumped off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, uh, I'll probably have the grass already fertilized and everything else will be taken care of. We'll be ready to fast forward to October, which, again, just to confirm, is both barley planting and um, sugar beet harvesting. So that'll be a huge month for us. I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.